as you generate more and more leads as a lawyer, your intake system transitions from something you should get in check to something you must, 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 must get in check. So in this video, I'm gonna go through three steps and really tips that can revolutionize your law firm's intake process. And before I go into those steps and tips, I wanna clarify something. More leads into a disorganized intake system or sales system for your law firm is not gonna do anyone any good. The more leads you generate in your intake system, the more you have to take your intake systems professionalism and clarity and consistency seriously. So do not throw this 40 tons of gas on the fire until the fire is well organized, okay? And going through a clear path in your law firm. Another thing I wanna clarify is the difference between case management versus intake management. A lot of lawyers are focused on case management but intake management is actually the first step of case management. Finally, you know, a 50 person PI firm is going to be treating their intake process slightly differently than a sole proprietor law firm because most likely, you know, the person calling in is not gonna be able to talk to the managing partner. Whereas in the uh, smaller firm case, they may be able to talk to the managing partner. Let's go through some of these uh, revolutionary intake steps that I think can just change the game. And if you're doing them already, then pat yourself on the back because that is awesome because a lot of lawyers do not follow these strategies. Strategy number one is to have a uniform brand online because here's the thing, your intake process actually starts before they call you. Your intake process starts actually when they first see your website or your social media profile or even your phone number can be part of your intake process if you have a memorable 800 number or toll free number. Your intake process can start from the messaging of your speech at an event or a networking convention. Your intake process can start when someone first comes into contact with your firm's brand. The first tip in your intake process is make sure you have a uniform brand online because before anyone ever reaches you, they're gonna be dialing a number, they're gonna be seeing some piece of information from you in some way, shape, or form. Make sure that information makes them want to reach out. The next tip is controlling the call, controlling that reach out. Now. I'm gonna give you a big, big, big special tip that worked really well for a lawyer that we're currently working with. But before I go into it, I'm gonna make a couple of very important points. When somebody calls a lawyer, are they happy? Are they having the best day of their life? Or are they going through some crap? Yeah, you're right. The answer is they're going through some crap. Most times people don't call a lawyer when they're having the best day of their life, right? So have empathy. This isn't about being you know, jumping off the walls, happy, slappy, you know, phone call answering process. No, it's about having empathy for the person who's calling your law firm. This is so important for them to feel connected to you and like you're not on two different planets, right? Next is first responder advantage. 50% of all leads to law firms go to the first responder. If there's one part controlling the call experience that you need to control, it is that response time. And if you're not able to attend to inbound calls, stop what you're doing now and hire an answering service because a company like Ruby or uh, intake uh, you know, communication experts, sorry, intake conversion experts or alert communications, any of these companies are gonna do a much better job for the time being until you can guarantee that each call will be picked up within four rings or less, 24 seven. First responder advantage, first responder advantage. Next in controlling the call experience is, nobody does this by the way, differentiate your firm proactively. Sell the person on the other line on why they should choose you, why they should not reach out to any other firm. Is legal marketing competitive or, not, or what? I mean, come on, it is wildly competitive. So stop treating people like, they are, you know, layup referral leads from a family friend calling you. It's just not how it is nowadays anymore. That is a stone age concept. Don't have a passive person answering your phone that doesn't care. Half 
to be militant about differentiating your firm. Sell them on what makes you unique. Say, hey, here's what makes us unique. You're gonna reach out to other firms. They're gonna treat you like this. They're gonna do this to your case and they're gonna be all, you know, whatever here. But here's what makes us different. We have this much experience. You can trust us because X, Y, and Z reason. I promise you, da, 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 da. whatever you can get away with saying, say it. Sell them on your differentiators and get a script together for it. So whoever answers your phone does it, whether that's an answering service or not. Okay, the script for the call, and I'm still not giving you the bonus bonus tip for controlling the call experience, needs to be an intro, okay, also known as a greeting. Next needs to be qualifying questions on their case. Next needs to be either an appointment set or a contract confirmation. Okay, then you can somewhere in there embed the differentiation statement. So intro or greeting, qualifying questions. Then you'd probably wanna, after the qualifying questions, explain your differentiators. Then after that, if you need to set an appointment, set an appointment. If not, go right into the contract phase as fast as you can, okay? So now I'm gonna give you the big, big, big tip that will in and of itself, double your conversion rate. Video, video, yes, can I be any more clear? Video, use FaceTime, use Google Hangouts, use whatever you possibly can to FaceTime with the person calling you, okay? You have to stop hiding behind phones. You can only build so much rapport over the phone, okay? Send, even if the, people's not being, the person's not being responsive and it seems like a big case, Send them a video follow-up. Text them a selfie video from the managing partner or from whoever's going to be handling the intake. Make them feel connected. Best way to speed up the rapport building process is through video. So control the call experience using all of these tips. That is the second step. So number one was a uniform brand online. Number two was controlling the call experience by having empathy, having first responder advantage, uh, differentiating your firm, having a script of intro or greeting, qualifying questions, differentiators, set appointment, and then contract, okay? Which leads into number three, step three, is electronic signature. If you are not using electronic signature, shame on you. You need to be using electronic signatures, okay? You don't need to have people come and sign every document to work with you. It is a waste of everyone's time. People will sign e-signature documents so rapidly. All you gotta do is ask them. Get it set up once. You create custom fields, okay? You can use DocuSign. You can use any of these, you know, law-specific e-signature things. Just type in e-signature for lawyer. You'll find one. One more bonus after this. Okay, this is a big one. Follow up. Are you ready for the stat I'm about to give you? 80% of sales happen between the fifth and 12th contact. Yes, you'll get 50% of leads if you're the first responder, but only after that fifth to 12th contact do you get 80% of your signups. Okay, it's still gonna take more contacts after the first time they reach out to you. It's gonna take emails, it's gonna take follow-up texts, it's gonna take follow-up videos. 80% of sales are made between that fifth and 12th contact. So the real money here is actually in follow-up. You could mess every tip that I gave you up here and have the best follow-up process on earth and you'll be in that 80th percentile of getting cases. But if you can be the best, the best combo, is to be the first to respond and the last to message them. Have a great first response process and have a great last response follow-up process. Be the last person to follow up, get your e-signatures in place, your, your uh, e-signature documents, control that call experience and make sure your online brand is crystal clear so that people can reach out to you and know what they're in for and know how good of a lawyer you are. So those are my thoughts on getting your intake process in check. 
Please implement, implement, implement these tips. Don't just let this be another video that you watch. If you're looking for more information on this type of content, we have tremendous amount of content on, on our YouTube channel. You can just go subscribe to our channel, look at the buffet of videos that we have. You can actually just type in whatever keywords you're interested in whether that's PPC, SEO, web design, answering services, et cetera, we'll help you with all of that. Also, if you're looking for free legal marketing tips sent to your inbox every day, make sure you submit your email on smbteam.com. And when you do that, you, we'll put you into our daily email drip where we give you free uh, legal marketing tips every day delivered to your inbox. So leave a comment below on any part of this video you want me to go deeper into, anything you liked, anything you didn't like, and I look forward to serving you more in the next video. Thanks.